Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a kitchen speed clean. This was after our Sunday morning breakfast. So I'm starting off by cleaning all the table down, um, wiping it down with some flash all purpose cleaner. This is the pumpkin scented one. We have this left over from Halloween so I'm just trying to get through it. But yeah, making sure to give the table a good clean down because breakfast was, ended up being a little bit messy this morning. And then after doing that, it was time to do the dishwasher and load that all up. Whenever I'm doing the kitchen clean, I want to make sure there's kind of no dirty dishes on the sides or even clean dishes that need to be put away. I try and clear the sides as much as possible so I've got a good blank canvas to work with when it comes to wiping down and cleaning all of the surfaces around all the kitchen. So just loading that up and then sticking the dishwasher on. Dishwashers are honestly a lifesaver. I don't know what I'd do without one, to be honest. And then for washing up, I'm using the Fairy Platinum uh, Fairy Liquid, which I absolutely love for getting off tough marks from frying pans and that kind of thing. We always use this one now, we don't use anything else for Fairy Liquid, literally the best one possible. So I'm just going through and rinsing all them dishes and then giving them a dry up so they're all away. And then for the chopping board, I'm just using some flash all purpose. This is the pumpkin one again, just using a bit of tissue just to wipe these chopping boards over and leave them really, really fresh and clean, ready for the next use. And then it's time for the worktops. Um, as usual, I'm using the Fabuloso granite and marble um, cleaner, which I absolutely love. And I'm just using a microfiber cloth with this. So I've just taken away the kettle, giving that a good clean underneath um, and making sure there's no streaks left on the side. So I did actually have a bit of a situation with the kettle. I was rinsing it out and I actually broke the filter. So we needed to get a new kettle. And to be fair, we needed to get one for a while. Um, and me and my mum see this one in Asda. We see it online and yeah, it looked really, really nice. So we headed down and picked it up. Luckily they had it in stock um, and we got the matching kettle and toaster. And they go really nicely with our kitchen because they're white and they've got a little bit of like wood on there which we're trying to tie in in the kitchen as well to give it a bit of a softer feel so yeah this is the toaster as well it just looks really really lovely um the toaster honestly toasted so much better than our last one and like i said this is literally from asda george um i think for both of them they went down about 48 pound it's definitely under 50 pounds so really really good price and the toaster toasts really well and it actually toasts really big toast as well i say big like tall toast i don't even know if that's the right word but yeah bottom line great toaster and yeah we're really happy with the way the kitchen's looking at the moment And then after I'd kind of popped them away, I needed to do the hob. So with the hob, I'm using the Sif Cream Cleaner in the lemon scent. 
I have actually managed to pick up the Christmas sandwich I've been talking to you guys about for ages that I've wanted to get my hands on. My mum finally found it, so I'm going to be featuring that in a video in the coming weeks where I'm going to be kind of switching over some of my go-to products and seeing if the new one is better than the original. So yeah, I will let you know when that video is out but it'll be coming very very soon so keep your eyes peeled on my channel for that but yeah leaving that to soak on the hob and then I'm just going in on the backsplash with some window and glass cleaner this is just the Tesco one and a microfiber cloth to buff that all in um, this is my go-to for the hob I've just found it works really really well and it leaves it super shiny and yeah just with a perfect finish And that is the end of this video guys we now have a super clean kitchen so I hope you guys have enjoyed it and if you have please do give it a big thumbs up also look at that shine on the backsplash um, and make sure you subscribe for more videos like this from me and I'll see you guys in my next video